I, I tried to write a book that was honest to my own experiences and my own ways of seeing the world. Uh, and I hope that, you know, for, for some people it is, um, they feel seen. I hope that, you know, I tried to write a book that I would have wanted to read when I was like a high school kid. Um, and a book that I felt like I needed. And, but I also hope that it can be illuminating for folks, right? You know. Looking behind, fear consuming this space. It said, son, I'm sorry. But you can't act the same as your white friends. You can't pretend that you've done this. You can't run around in the dark. You can't hide behind anything other than your own teeth. I know now how scary you must have been. How easily I could have fallen into the empty of the night. That some man would mistake this water for a good reason to wash all of this away. I think that we live in a sort of social and political moment in which uh, we have to sort of recommit ourselves to, to truth and facts and history and empirical evidence and sort of recalibrating our understanding of what history is. Uh, and I hope that my work can be used as a means by which to sort of like reconsider and challenge our, the sort of dominant paradigms of historical thought. Uh, my life, telling people the things they wanted to hear instead of the things they needed to. Told myself I wasn't meant to be anyone's conscience because I still had to figure out being my own. So sometimes I just wouldn't say anything. A piece of ignorance with my silence, unaware that validation doesn't need words to endorse its existence. When Christian was me up for being gay, I put my hands in my pocket and walked my head down so I didn't even notice. Couldn't use my locker for weeks because the bolt on the lock reminded me of the one I put on my lips when the homeless man on the corner looked at me with eyes up, nearly searching for an affirmation that he was worth seeing. I was more concerned with touching the screen of my apple and actually feeding him one. One of the women at the fundraising gallery said, I'm so proud of you. It must be so hard teaching those poor, unintelligent kids. I bit my lip because apparently we needed her money. Whether my students needed their dignity, we spent so much time listening to the things people are saying, that we really pay attention to the things they don't. Question everything. Um, don't, all, don't believe everything that you are taught. Um, ask questions. Don't be afraid to uh, challenge what you hear. Um, and, and that is, in fact, the only way that our world has ever moved forward, is people um, asking why the world is the way that it is. And, uh, not just simply accepting um, explanations that might not make full sense.